Office of Minnesota Attorney General. Hi, how are you? Good. That's good. Say, uh, I have to make a complaint. I got a problem with uh, some judges. Okay. So uh, the lady down on the ninth floor said I was supposed to come talk to you. Yep, just have a seat. I'll have a paper. Thank you. Good. Super, about yourself? Good, Joe. Terry Nemers. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. All right, back here. Okay. Are you cold out there yet? Oh, it's not actually so bad. It, I come from Glenwood, and the wind is really whipping out oh, there. Okay. Down here, it's not so bad. You got more, uh, more buildings, more buildings and yeah. yep, those kind of Both details. Of the box, sure. Yeah, I'm sure of that. Okay, right here. I've got a problem. Uh, back in 2007, okay. uh, the Pope or the Douglas County or Pope County Sheriff's Department broke in my home without a warrant. Okay, okay. then the chief deputy falsified the uh, probable cause statement claiming that they had a warrant, okay. all right? It's clearly established there is no warrant, Okay. all right? So he lied on there, committed perjury, mm -hmm. then it was sent to the county attorney's office where it was signed by a Chad Larson, the okay. assistant Pope County attorney, and then it was sent to Judge John Staffschel. What's that, the warrant was? The, 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 it's the, a, it's the, order of detention. Okay. The, pro, okay. the probable cause statement was sent to Judge John Staffschel. Okay. He signed an order of detention, okay. all right? So that's what the deal was on this, and they signed all that on July 24th, 2007, with okay. full knowledge, all three of them signed it with full mm -hmm. knowledge, there is no warrant, mm -hmm. all right? Now, I've been terrorized by these people ever since because I refused to stop talking about that. Mm -hmm. I've been maliciously arrested, maliciously prosecuted numerous times because these people won't leave me alone, okay. all right? So I've been falsely arrested just twice this year. They're planning on throwing me in jail for about a year now, saying that for I'm. What? Well, I, I, what I, the problem is July sixth, two thousand of this year, or two thousand eleven. I went down to file a criminal complaint against uh, some spray plane that's harassing us. Mm -hmm. So I went down to the sheriff's department to file a complaint, and I ran into a guy who I filed criminal charges against mm -hmm. at the sheriff's department. Mm -hmm. So he tossed me out. Then I come back, or then I'm trying to come back in because he said come back later. And I don't want to talk to this guy, period. I want to talk to the sheriff. Mm -hmm. Well, the unfortunate thing is the sheriff is the guy who committed the perjury in 2007. Okay. All right, so I was arrested for stalking, uh, disorderly conduct, trespassing, I don't remember, whatever. It's like four different charges. Mm -hmm. So then uh, I get sent down to um, Kandua County for this mental evaluation, mm -hmm. all right? No, that's that's later. Um, no, that was then. And uh, I go in for my initial appearance and I run into the same guy who signed the fraudulent order of detention, Judge John Staffschild. Mm -hmm. So I brought up the fact that um, I'd filed criminal charge against him in Benson, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a blatant conflict of interest going on here. Mm -hmm. I fi uh, filed charges against his wife for assaulting me at the Waterama prior. Mm -hmm. Okay, I brought all this up, and he throws me down into Candyway County for a mental evaluation. Okay. All right. Now, it's well a competency evaluation is what it was, mm -hmm. not a mental evaluation. Now, I am a was licensed as a doctor in two different states. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think I know up from down. I have my own little personal law library. These guys know I know what the law is, mm -hmm. but see, the thing is, I keep on exposing them, so they're trying to discredit me. Mm -hmm. So I had the psychiatrist down there, and he was he gave me flying colors because I made it known to him that I was going to make sure that when I got him on the witness stand for the competency evaluation, I was going to fry his ass because he was engaging in um, uh, uh, gaslighting. You know what gaslighting is? What is it? Gas gaslighting? No. It's where it's it's something a psychiatrist would lose his license over, where okay. you're manipulating your patients. Okay. He was trying to convince me that uh, I can't swear at a cop, and I said, "Really?" I said, "Black versus Cod says I I'm allowed to swear at a cop." Mm -hmm. See, so they're trying to convince me that you know I had poor memory and I you know I didn't know the law and mm -hmm. you know all these different things. So that was the deal. So I come back for this uh, evaluation and I bring up these same facts again that. I filed criminal charge against the judge. I, you know, um, I filed charges against his wife. 
And then all of a sudden he decides, oh, I'm not going to be on your case anymore. You don't want me? I said, I never wanted you to start with. See? Mm -hmm. And so he's had his little claw in both these prosecutions, you know, and my um, evidence has been tampered with. He's been withholding evidence. Mm -hmm. it's, all, it's all a public record. Mm -hmm. See? And then they've got this new judge they just assigned down there, uh, Glasrud, out of uh, Stevens County. Mm -hmm. He's going along with it, too. Mm -hmm. See? And I filed criminal charges against the, um, like I said, uh, against the uh, judge's wife. Mm -hmm. Filed it with the police. That was on uh, December 28, 2010. Mm -hmm. Disappeared into nothingness. He hands it off to the county attorney's office. Well, the county attorney's office is involved in, in all this, so they just buried it. Mm -hmm and pursuing us to, to Minnesota statutes against the law for the county attorney not to investigate nor prosecute a valid complaint. All right? And I never received any information back on that complaint. And I've filed complaints before, and I've gotten letters back from county attorneys where they've said, we're not picking up the charges. We've investigated, we're not picking up the charges. Nothing from Pope County. So I filed criminal charges on Thanksgiving of this year mm -hmm. with the police department down there in Glenwood, they did the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. it was, and that, the complaint this time was on for their what home is, invasion. Is this? this is all the information. It's got my, um, it's got a copy of the probable cause statement, the mm -hmm. order of detention. It's got numerous documentation proving that they've been maliciously prosecuting me. They've been withholding evidence. Mm -hmm. They've been tampering with okay. evidence. I got. Uh, I've got a phone conversation That's with... That's all the supplementary documentation relating to the issue. It's, it's okay. clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence that they're, they are targeting me, that they are maliciously prosecuting me, that they're withholding my evidence, that they're running a smear campaign on me to discredit me because I have clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence that the, the judge signs fraudulent paperwork with perjured testimony in it. Mm -hmm. And I've reported this to the, the um, Timothy Osby. He's the district court administrator for the 7th and 8th and Judicial District. He told me that he has no intention of reporting this to the law enforcement. Mm -hmm. All right. I talked to, uh, then I called up the Supreme Court, um, this, who's the Supreme Court Justice, uh, Gilda or something mm -hmm. like that. Something like that, yeah. I can never pronounce her name. But anyhow, I talked to her secretary, told her the exact same thing I was telling you. So how did it all start? You said they, the, the first thing that happened was in 2007? 2007. And they just came into your house or something? They, they, Why was that? They broke into my, see this actually starts back in 2006. I caught a judge down there breaking, breaking the law, violating my rights. So I filed complaint with the Judicial Review Board, all right? And I filed complaint with the Lawyers Professional Responsibility Board against the, the county attorney at that time was Boyd Becky. Mm -hmm. all right? So then all of a sudden they filed felony charges on me to try and shut me up. Well, <laughs> for, uh, allegedly I was uh, fabricating a license plate which I have written proof from my attorney, who's now the county attorney, mm -hmm. says that the charge was bogus. They had no proof of intent to commit a crime and whatever. And see, Boyd Becky, that's the former county attorney that was prosecuting me at the time, has a history of malicious prosecution. That's on here also. Mm -hmm. All right? And that was in the newspaper, even. In fact, his case was a uh, one that made the national news. Um, I don't know, Scott Wagger, if you ever heard about that, some guy down in Wilmer that was spraying the kids with fox urine okay. because they were trespassing on his home for nine years, and the those guys down there did zero. Okay. All right? So he's the guy that, because I helped expose that thing, and they had to drop the case against him. That made the, the paper that it was dropped for lack of probable cause. Mm -hmm which is malicious prosecution. But it wasn't dropped right away. It was dropped after months of them running him through the ringer. See? So it's a vendetta against me for exposing corruption in Canyon County and Pope County. Also, I helped another guy in uh, Swift County, a John Besser. They stole his farm without the proper paperwork, you know, without providing the note or the chain, proper chain of assignment or proof that they own the note by a bank, uh, um, proof that they, they purchased it. Stuff like that. Okay. See, so I'm one of these guys that exposes corruption and they don't like me. So like I'm saying, they're trying to discredit me. So again, not Friday, they're trying to throw me in jail for a year. For Oh, that's the second thing. I was arrested in July, or July 6th and then again in September 7th. All right? I was arrested on September 7th, and that, that video is on here. Um, I tried to inform the Leaven Township board members that the... Um, 
County Attorney Neil Nelson was involved in malicious prosecution. It was withholding evidence. He put tampers on the or put purges on the witness stand, and that they broke into my house without a warrant. Mm -hmm. So what do these yin yangs do? They call the cops on me. Mm -hmm. So now they charge me with uh, two charges of dis disorderly conduct and whatever. But I didn't commit any crimes. Mm -hmm. See. Now in my trial for the J July one, they had uh, they played the video. But what they did is they made sure the, the sound was turned off because the county attorney, the assistant Pope County attorney, uh, Todd Roth, mysteriously forgot that there was a court rule saying that you have to provide a transcript of any video that you present at trial. And this guy's been a, a court, uh, he's been a trial lawyer for years and years and years. And he doesn't know about a rule from 2007. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, you know, and then the next one, this video that I have here, the Levin Township board members attack me. But see, they, so they couldn't show that video at all. So they, they sent paperwork saying, oh, we're working on a transcript. But they never produced the transcript and didn't play the video at the trial. Mm -hmm. See, so then their little perjurers could get up there and say whatever they wanted. Mm -hmm. See, because I have, I have the evidence that in neither case, I was committing a crime. Mm -hmm. First one, I was trying to file a criminal complaint. Second one, I'm trying to inform elected officials of criminal acts of elected officials, which is clear, precise, and unquestionable. See? Okay. Well, here's what we can do. I'm going to take the complaint. We got a hard copy here that if you could just put in your information here, how we could, can contact you and whatnot, and just a general summary. Um, you don't need to get too in-depth if this is a lot of it, but just right. kind of just a little introductory right. thing just so we can know what's going on. Um, I know you said you talked to... Lawyers, professional board responsibility. Yep. Uh, um, and judicial standards judicial board. Standards. You're See, the post board. The post board. Yeah. I, I've written to them before. I don't remember okay. if it was for this deal. But the the thing is, I, you know, I've talked to David Paul. He's the executive secretary for judicial review board. I've told him all this stuff. So they, they just covered up. So they're aware of all this stuff. Well, the thing is, by law, they're supposed to send a response acknowledging that I've sent my complaint. Mm -hmm. I have sent information about John Staffshell just recently in this year. They don't send me my send me a confirmation letter. See, so they know that I have clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence. I'm just not some lunatic making up shit. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've got it all documented. Okay. I have my T's crossed and my I's dotted. Mm -hmm. gotcha. All right, so I suppose it wouldn't help then for me to give you those, those contacts. No, that's that a waste of my time. All right. Then we'll just have to take the complaint then and look into it and see if there's anything we can do. Okay. Okay. Detention. For July 24th, 2007. Okay, and it has uh, different, uh, the conversation I was telling you about with uh, Neil Nelson where um, he admits that, uh, well, he, he see, my attorney that I had um, mm -hmm. claim, sent in a uh, motion for discovery. Mm -hmm. Neil Nelson was claiming they never got it. Okay. All right? So that's the conversation we're going over. He's trying to say that they never got it, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then he's laughing about the fact that this Judge John Staffschultz on my case, who's got a vested interest in my case, mm -hmm. trying to say, well, I'm not a judge. I said, well, you're, trying to pro you're supposed to be protecting my rights mm -hmm. because as a prosecuting attorney, you're supposed to protect the rights of all the people in your jurisdiction, including me. See, I have a copy of Prosecution Principles. Okay, so, so conversation with Neil Nelson, what else? Right, conversation on there, numbers. Mm -hmm. It gives uh, the, the complaint number for the order of detention. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I I actually had all this information on a piece of paper, but yeah. we got kind of lost around well, here. as so, long as it's on there. Right, but I mean, I, I was going to be prepared for those kind of deals, so, you yeah. know. Oh, I hear you. Well, you're more prepared than most people. Okay. Well, I've I'm, I've told this story over and over and over and over again, so I, I I'm you. I'm used to it. So a lot of practice. <laughs> right. Well, we'll look in this story. We'll uh, probably be contacting you. I would say in the next few weeks. Okay. Okay. Well, if I'm not in jail. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you just have to contact them, ask for more, and they ship go. me. So. <laughs> okay. right. Thank Thanks, Joe. I appreciate your time. Yeah, we'll see you. Yep. Thank you.